guys, today I'm going to show you, um, so, my Lego custom weapons. Yeah, okay, yeah. Here we are. I only have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. And I don't think there's any more, but I probably have some more. But I guess this is all of them. So I just wanted to show you guys, because I never got a chance to show you. Oh yeah, and real quick, um... I want to show you this like little like a weapon thing. It's not a weapon at all, but still. Um, if you want like something for your engineer to build, like repair a ship, just get this old style gun and turn it sideways. So you got the little thing for an engineer. Unfortunately, I don't not have an engineer. So if someone could like post a video response of a they're a Lego engineer. That'd be fine. I already built a Lego um medic, so that's good enough. But here's the things. Here's the weapons. So I'll start with one of my favorites. It is really simple. It's just you just cut off the stock. With either choice you can use scissors, knives, or a nail filer. But I I prefer a knife because it's really easy. My custom MP40, and don't laugh, but it's kind of weird looking, but I think it's really cool. And, um, there used to be a thing right there, I glued it on there, so it looked cooler, but unfortunately it broke off somewhere. So, yeah, and it also fits, um, so, but it was like this at first, it was like that. Then I attach this. I think the um the the magazine was bigger than the this thing the tip of the gun, so I added this. So it looks like an MP40. And then here I'll just use this one. Um, I don't collect the city, so I don't have much civilians. But this one I just got from my friend. But yeah, I never collected a Lego city set. I don't want one. So yeah, it fits in the figure's hand if you take it on like that. And it's really good because it also, the magazine, the clip can also reload and get back on. Next we have my favorite, or one of my favorites, shotgun. Sorry, a shotgun. Um, most, of these weapon, and most of these weapons are made by a rifle. So this one is a rifle. Cut off its scope and the back of the stock. Colored it all in metallic silver or metallic silver sharpie. Left some black, but um, a few months later, these um, kind of got scratched out, so you can still see some black. But it looks still pretty cool. And then I just added this little piece to make it look like a shotgun. So I'll show you. So, so, next we have this rifle, no, um, I know it's kind of weird, I, I was trying, I was bored, so I wanted to kind of make a Lego custom gun, maybe I was thinking M1 Grand, and I doubt of this, and I just cut off the scope of a blaster, and no, I do not collect brick arms, because my parents won't. Let me use the credit card. So, that's bad. I mean, really bad. Because I like brick arms. I think their weapons are awesome. So, this this weapon was probably one of the easiest, but this one's more easier. And this one's still under construction. I just built it earlier. It's the partially rifle. It's still um, gluing. I use red bar glue. Because I don't have super glue, I'm gonna get that soon for my micro binoculars, and I'm gonna glue that on a couple more. But it's basically the rifle you saw, the one with no stock, and the orange grill brick with the one times one but angle brick. So it's still going to get it. Yep, and it came off. Yeah, better clean that off. I need to add more glue. Get some glue here. Oh yeah, 
yeah, and on Saturday, if I'm here, I'm going to be making a battle map. I already made it, it's just I destroyed it, and I forgot to show you guys. But, so, we need to do this some more. So, thanks for watching. It's kind of bored, but, bye.